Americans are greedy with you. They really are. And Americans are worried. Americans are worried because they know there's a, this is not an easy field to navigate, what you have to do. But uh, the fact is that Israel, as they respond to these attacks, seems to me that uh, have to continue to ensure that you have what you need to defend yourselves. And uh, we're going to make sure that occurs, as you know. President Biden wrapping up his bilateral meeting with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu moments ago, underscoring his commitment to helping Israel take down Hamas. But concerns are mounting here at home over the White House's ability to regain its footing in the Middle East while continuing to support Ukraine and thwarting potential threats from China and North Korea. Derek Anderson is an Army veteran and Virginia congressional candidate and joins me now. Derek, good morning to you. What about that? There are a lot of flashpoints right now between Russia and Ukraine, Israel and Hamas, and this looming threat between China and Taiwan. And the United States is providing munitions to all of them. Can we handle it all? Well, it's certainly a lot to handle. And thank you all so much to have, for having me. Um, I mean, right now, we have to look at the 50-meter target. Uh, you know, in the military, we always talk about, you know, 50-meter 50 targets, 100-meter targets, 300-meter targets. Right now, Israel is in dire need, uh, whether it's their need for munitions or just having someone have their back in, in, the, in the region. I, I do think that is important. You know, we, we've seen the deployment of uh, USS Eisenhower and uh, Gerald Ford uh, strike groups that are heading over into the Mediterranean to supp uh, provide support uh, for the Israelis. Uh, I mean, when you are thinking about the hostages that are currently being held right now, um, you know, we're looking at roughly 200 hostages. Um, whether or not they are able to hear anything about this, but think about the need that they're in right now. Uh, knowing that the Americans are coming right now uh, gives them that hope uh, that they have the opportunity to be uh, pulled out of the Gaza uh, and, and, and be saved. And I think that's really important. I think we need to continue to show force in the Middle East. Um, you know, the Biden administration has shown its weakness, which is one of the reasons I think that, you know, we are in the current situation that we are and the Israelis are in the current situation they are, um, whether it, it began with uh, the botched withdrawal in Afghanistan uh, or relations uh, throughout, throughout the world. But this is a time to show, to show strength, uh, and this is our opportunity to be uh, strong throughout the world. Yeah, it is true. The Biden and, for that matter, the Trump administration's goal was to decrease our military presence in the Middle East. And the withdrawal from Afghanistan is the most notable example of that. But given this unfolding war in Israel right now, do you think the Pentagon needs to rethink that strategy? Yeah, and, you know, it, it, if you look at right before, uh, you know, two Saturdays ago before this, this massacre happened in Israel, uh, the Biden administration was just talking about decreasing the funding uh, roughly 10 percent of our special operations community. Right. Uh, if you look at the wars that we've been fighting over the last two decades, our special operations community has been at the forefront of all of these. You know, I, I was a Green Beret uh, for um, a little around 10 years uh, as I served in the Army. I, I trained with the Israeli Defense Forces, and these relationships that we build, especially through our special operations community, are, are vitally important. Uh, and so, you know, you can see what uh, just happened literally the week before uh, this, this attack happened in Israel. You know, the Biden administration talked about cutting 10 percent of our special operations community. Uh, you know, you all were reporting a little bit uh, in the very beginning of this is that we were sending some of our tier one assets or special forces assets over to Israel uh, in, in an advisory uh, capacity. And it wouldn't, wouldn't surprise me if we had individuals on the ground already uh, that were advising the Israel uh, Israelis as well as um, doing uh, concurrent training with them. So it's vitally important, not only just for our own national security, but for the security within the region. Yeah, and let's talk about that, the ground invasion that could possibly happen. Everybody that we talk to talks about how brutal it could be, you know, when you're talking about urban warfare and all of what that presents. Do you think that there's any chance that that could be avoided and for the IDF to still achieve their ultimate goal of destroying Hamas? Well, you have to also understand, I mean, by all means, if they wanted to just destroy Hamas and the infrastructures that are within Gaza, they could very well just use artillery and use an aerial strike 
uh, to destroy and level everything. But the issue that the Israelis are going to have specifically in Gaza is this complex tunnel network. You know, uh, you can only penetrate uh, the tunnel network so much from above. Uh, and the fact that we have 200-ish uh, hostages there, we're not going to be able to just, I mean, you can't go in and rescue right. hostages through an aerial strike, right? We're going to have to put boots on the ground. Uh, and with that, it means it's going to be a, a methodical clearance of Gaza. Uh, intelligence is still uh, going to be, you know, it, intelligence drives our operations, and it's going to be one of those things where it's going to be a methodical clearance. It's going to take a little bit of time for the Israelis to go through door to door, building to building, not only to destroy the weapons depots, um, the missile, right. um, uh, the stockpiles and missiles, but they're, they're going to need to go and try to extract these uh, hostages. And that's going to take some time. It is a daunting prospect. Derek Anderson, we do have to leave it, it there. Is. Thank you so much for joining us on this busy news day.